Hey, what's going on guys? Elliot here, apartment bartender. If you're new here, apartment bartender is dedicated to creative cocktail recipes, home bartending how-tos, and other shenanigans. Uh, in this particular video, what we're gonna be focusing on is the 10 classic cocktail recipes that you need to memorize, especially when you're starting out. So before we dive into that, let's get after it. So I've been having a lot of friends getting into home bartending. I'm guessing they checked out my video, how to stock your home bar when starting out. But if you're just diving into the world of, of bartending at home and making drinks, instead of going straight into kind of crafting your own from scratch, which I still recommend, but if you want a good foundation or a good place to start, here are 10 cocktail recipes that I really recommend you, you start with, just because what it's gonna do is, is one, give you a good foundation, but two, it's gonna pave the way for you making these drinks, uh, making your own variations on these drinks down the road. So the first one on my list, my go-to, is the Old Fashioned. So the Old Fashioned. <laughs> old Fashioned's like that person that walks into a room that doesn't need an introduction. You probably have one in your life, they're super good, you can drink them all year round. Perfect amount of whiskey to the sweetness and the bitters, and it's just a really good spirit forward cocktail that is my first on my list to remember and to memorize when you're starting out. Second one on my list is a Manhattan. It's another spirit forward cocktail, another whiskey drink, just like an old fashioned. This one's made a little differently. However, still really good to memorize because it's also gonna pave the way for other really creative drinks that you can make down the road. Third one on my list is a Negroni. A Negroni is traditionally made with equal parts gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. It's a little bit bitter. When I first tried them, I wasn't a huge fan, but really is known as that gateway cocktail that opens up your palate and, and helps you just start enjoying a whole gamut of other types of, of drinks. So really recommend that you get to like Negronis, you learn how to make them, because it's only gonna help you from there. Fourth one, Margarita. I don't know who hasn't had a margarita, who doesn't like them. If you don't like margaritas, then we probably can't be friends. It's one of my favorite drinks, but all in all, if you learn how to make a margarita and you can make a mean one for you and your friends, then you're definitely gonna be the coolest one in the group. Fifth one on the list is a Sazerac. A Sazerac is another whiskey cocktail, or you can make it with cognac, your choice, but it's a stiff drink, I like it a lot, and there's nothing worse than having a poorly made Sazerac. Just had one the other day that was horribly made and it broke my heart. So learn how to make it the right way. Sixth cocktail on my list that I recommend you memorize is a daiquiri. Classic rum drink, can't go wrong. It's three ingredients, really refreshing. You can drink them all year round and it's actually really one of the easiest drinks to kind of put variations on. So change up the syrups that you make. You can make a blackberry daiquiri, you make strawberry daiquiri. You can make all types of daiquiris, but learn how to make the classic and then go from there. Seventh one on my list is a martini. A martini is probably one of the most preferential drinks that is out there, classic, but depending on who you ask, everyone's gonna have their own way of how they like the martini or shaken, gin or vodka, do you want blue cheese stuffed olives or regular olives or lemon twist, you get the point, right? So learn how to make a classic, typically it's made with gin. Uh, from there, I would say kind of decide what your favorite martini is, but nonetheless, definitely learn how to make a classic gin martini. Eighth one on my list is a whiskey sour. Super refreshing, you can drink them all year round. Similar to a margarita and a daiquiri, Three ingredients, all you need is your whiskey, typically a bourbon, lemon juice, and a simple syrup. So hard to mess up, easy to make, get to know it. Ninth one on my list is a mint julep. A mint julep, typically, if you're thinking about it, you're at the Kentucky Derby, right, or it's around horse racing season. Uh, really easy to make, bourbon, mint, simple syrup, crushed ice, usually in a julep cup. Really refreshing. Get to know that one just because it's super easy to make, uh, and again, it's another one that's really hard to mess up. Tenth cocktail on my list that you need to memorize is a Moscow Mule. Moscow Mules are something we've all had, we probably all enjoy them year round, not labor intensive at all, so 
So vodka, lime juice, ginger beer, maybe a little bitters if you want that, but it doesn't take much. So those are my 10 cocktails that I recommend that you memorize. Not in any particular order. The reason I went with these 10 instead of other ones like Martinez or Brooklyn or Mai Tais and stuff is just because I believe these 10, at least for me, are really easy to make. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients and it's gonna help build your confidence as you get into the world of home bartending. So if you have some friends come over and you mix up a bunch of old fashions for everyone, you're gonna impress them, you're gonna feel good about yourself and it's gonna propel you to want to learn how to make some other classics. So get to uh, memorizing these recipes. In the meantime, guys, I appreciate all your support. Make sure you like, comment, and let me know if there are some classics that you feel I left out. Let me know which ones that you think people should memorize or any questions that you have or any uh, feedback on other videos that I could do. Let me know. Appreciate you guys.